Hi folks, Mr. Thessalonian here again. Uh, this is part two of the bio crude oil facility here, uh, manufacturing capability that we're working on. Uh, what you see here is the reactor. The reactor is basically, let me show you here, it's two of these five gallon steel cans, oh, oil cans. Uh, I cut the top off of one and the bottom off of another and slid them over each other so they make a really long slide seal over each other. One pipe, as you can tell here, welded in with an elbow. It's a one inch pipe coming out of the back of there. Welded in with an elbow. So we've got the tube coming down. In the last video, I was burning it with a bunch of wood inside the reactor here. I want to show you what the crude oil looks like. You can see I pulled the little plug I showed you in the first one. Here's the crude oil sitting there that's coming out of the system. Let me take a stick here and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it's a nice crude oil very very thick nice and black this is going to be the uh, thickest and heaviest grade of the crude oil that we catch throughout this system uh, this is the first stage of recovery first stage of capture of crude here bio crude that's that first can that's going to be right there that's going to be a little bit better refined stage of crude and then out of the third stage here after it goes through the two uh, radiators or maybe a single radiator and a condenser out of the top up here uh, we'll have the third stage, which should be a much more refined state of crude oil. Uh, so here's what we've got going on here. Let me back up and show you why it's working this way. If you notice here, there's a downward slope to that pipe going through there. Uh, it's working opposite of thermodynamic pressures. And what that's going to do is actually force the smoke to release as much of this crude as it possibly can because it's actually wanting to go uphill, which would be easy. The smoke's not going to cool real quickly. By forcing it slightly downhill, we're forcing a lot of that heat energy out, making sure it's releasing a lot of that, let's call it creosote or bio crude. Uh, it's a different form of creosote than you'd produce in a normal wood stove. It also allows for the creosote to roll down the bottom of the pipe, hit our T block here, and run down into our first collection container. Uh, it goes into a smaller point here, it reduces, this is a reducing point right at the capture point. This will help re uh, restrict the pressure help fundamentalize some of the cooling right here and a focus point for our first capture. The gas gets refined and reduced slightly in volume through the system here. Hits our next T. Uh, some of the gas will naturally be heavy and want to drop down into the container on its own. Uh, that's not really how it would work uh, all the time, but some of it will do that. What's going on here is through thermodynamics now, hydrogen, uh, carbon monoxide, and all the rest of the lighter gases are going to easily flow up this pipe through thermodynamic pressure. Now you've cooled a lot of that gas by running it downhill, trying to bring in into this lower container as much the second grade creosote as you can, or bio crude. Now by running it uphill again, you're going to really force all the heavy hydrocarbons and other elements inside of this to focus out of the hydrogen gas and the carbon monoxide, combine, sit as a residue, and run back down this pipe into our second collector. Anything that does make it up is going to span now for four feet at a slightly sloping uphill angle. The same angle as the lower pipe slopes downhill, this pipe is now sloping uphill to match and equal. That'll help anything that gathers run backwards down the pipe to the junction and down into the catch. And also helps take some of the heat out of it up here. Now the heat being lost through this four foot section up here will make sure that the smoke once entering this point and dropping downhill will be cooler here than here. That'll help the thermodynamic process an updraft, a cool off, a downdraft into the radiator and then into a condenser which I'm gonna get done here today uh, which I'll show you a video on once I'm done well until the next video I hope you enjoyed this was Mr. Teslonian and making bio crude oil